Hello YouTube. You're joining me again at a familiar location. So if you've watched two of my first three videos, they were filmed here. This is the car park at the top of Orkborough Flats just down there. So I did my first ever video here, which was a tour of the camper. Oh no, it wasn't. It was a tour of the vehicle, sorry. And then I did another video here where I did my first ever wild camp in the Toyota Alphard. But today I join you for a different reason. Today, I'm happy to announce to the minuscule amount of subscribers I have, but oh well, um, I'm happy to announce that I finally bought some blinds. So I'm really excited about that because it's going to help me get out and do more wild camping because I was really nervous that someone in the night could come along, shine a light through the windows and see me. Now, to give you an idea of the situation, these rear windows, if I haven't said it enough, are all limo tint. So during the day, you cannot see in, but at night, it's a different thing. If you shine a light in or there's a light inside, you can easily see what's going on in there. Now, my ugly mug is likely to frighten someone off if they do see in, but it's just not very stealthy. If I want to do some urban wild camp, um, urban stealth camps, which I do. So I thought, I need to buy some blinds pronto. So the blinds in this bag next to me, believe it or not, are the ones I purchased. Blinds, meet YouTube. No, let's not do that again, that was very cheesy. Um, if that makes it into the video, I really am desperate. For footage, that is. Anyway. They are Cov Product vehicle blinds for the Toyota Alphard. I purchased them from a company called Energize Customs. Um, I read about them on Toyota Alphard forums and I thought, yeah, I'll give them a go. Like for a hundred pound or, or thereabouts, um, I don't think you can go wrong. I don't think I could make anything of this quality myself because I am just not DIY inclined. Um, but yeah, let me show you. They are silver, um, line like foil i guess you could say they're foil blinds but they've got black lining on the other side um so you won't get like light reflecting in your eyes which would be quite good not to have if you're trying to relax in your camper van so what i'm going to do now is just a quick time lapse of me putting up the blinds um and yeah and we'll see how easy they are i have put one of them up already on the rear screen um or the rear window just because there is a camper van over there and I think like they'd be able to see him because it's getting dark and I don't want them seeing me like an idiot holding this camera talking to myself. Yeah. So I've got all the blinds on now. I think I'm going to jump outside with the lights left on in here and have a look in to see how much you can actually see. Now there is one big caveat and that is I haven't done some of them properly, so if I spin it around, hopefully you can see that and the messy job I've done at putting it on the window. But I think that would be a good way of seeing how much light it's actually blocked um, by this bit here versus nothing here. So yeah, let's jump out and have a look. So it really is getting dark now. So with the lights on inside, if we didn't have these on the windows, you really would be able to see absolutely everything. And I think they're doing a fairly decent job of blocking the light out. If we go here, there is a problem right here in terms of we can see in. Um, obviously, at the moment, the front is an issue, as you can see. But my plan there is to just use curtains again, not curtains, sorry, just use the towels I used for my wild camping video and see if that's a good enough job because I do have foil ones like for the back for the front but the problem is is these are not tinted so you really would be able to see the fact that there's foil on the front so it looks a bit suspicious like somebody is inside whereas I think just having the back ones on with the towels blocks out more than 99% of the light I think um, from escaping the inside and out to go outside so yeah I'm reasonably happy so I thought the next test is to leave one on the window, take one off. So I've taken the one off the big window at the opposite side, so the rear passenger door. Now we're gonna scoot round and see what they look like side by side. 
yeah so when you're looking at it from here you can definitely see the light through the window and if somebody was sat in there you would easily be able to see them oh look i'm in the window hello but yeah you can see the table where it's through this one obviously there's something physically blocking it minus that bit blocking the light sorry i should say so you cannot see anything i think we should also take a moment to look at that beautiful view over there this is why i was really happy to come here for my first wild camp so there we have it youtube blinds for my toyota alphard i think there's a bit of human error on my part and when i say a bit i think it's massive in terms of a, the gap on one of the windows is horrific if i just turn you around i'll show you what show you um just there, there's a massive gap down this corner and I think that's human error. I think I fitted that the wrong way round. Um, and there are a few gaps elsewhere. Like if you look in this corner, if you can see just up there, there's um, a gap. But I think if I'm honest with you, it does a very good job of making it look like nobody's in here. And I think just by maybe moving them around a bit or just maybe adding something to the edges where you can see through and i think the fit's fine although it's probably not knowing me um i think you'll get you'll get there yeah so personally i'm very happy with them um i'm definitely going to use them when i next go out and i'm hoping my next video will be an urban stealth camp so my idea and i really want to do this is to either camp outside of a police station that's number one in a hotel car park don't know why but yeah i thought it'd be quite quirky um and then maybe a supermarket because well if it's a 24 7 one that'll be handy because there's no toilet in here um so i know i said earlier if you're oh, what did i say um i have a minuscule amount of followers on youtube or subscribers i don't mean that as a joke to say they're not important um i think everyone's important in life so if you have an opinion on any of those um, different locations and which ones you want to see, please do feel free to comment. And I think I'll be absolutely swayed by whatever anyone comments. So feel free to choose a location and I will go and do it as long as I'm not going to get murdered or put in jail. Yeah, don't want that.